The Canadian dollar CBC is a form of digital currency that can be utilized by anyone. It would be issued, backed, and regulated by the Federal Reserve, and they would have full support from the government of the United States of America. You could use this in place of the payment methods that are currently in use, and it would have advantages such as instant payment settlement, a way to conduct transactions across international borders, and the ability to assist more people in gaining access to money. Over 130 nations are currently exploring the possibility of establishing their very own digital currencies that are backed by the government. India, China, Russia, and Saudi Arabia are the countries in question. Beginning with the initial stages of their pilot programs, and a pilot program for a digital euro could begin as early as 2028. At the same time, the United States of America is still a very long way behind, despite the fact that there is an increasing amount of information that is clear about how digital currency operates. In that very moment, these words belong to the Congress of the United States of America. There is no doubt about it the United States Congress has unequivocally stated that XRP is acceptable in the United States. Banks and investment firms are not the only ones who can have this. It is possible to use XRP for transactions on both the domestic and international levels. Particularly true is the Federal Reserve of the United States of America. Is it important to know this? Legislators in the United States are aware of the global shift. Locations such as Brazil. In collaboration with Ripple, a number of nations, including India, China, and others, are working to establish their very own digital currencies, which will be issued by their respective central banks. The United States of America does not wish to fall behind on this change. And are you able to have any idea which company they are collaborating with? Ripple, you are correct. Greetings, everyone. And thank you for joining us here at XRP News Today, your one-stop shop for everything related to XRP. Additionally, in the same manner that the BRICS nations of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa collaborated on the development of a central bank digital currency for the benefit of both of us. The United States of America shares the same path. Allow me to demonstrate to you a video that demonstrates how Ripple and the Federal Reserve of the United States discussed CBDCs all the way back in the year 2015. According to this historical context, Ripple and the United States have been cooperating behind the scenes, despite the fact that Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission are currently engaged in a public dispute. As a result of this partnership, there was a significant possibility that Ripple would prevail in the lawsuit brought by the SEC. In the past, do you recall when Ripple make a presentation to the Federal Reserve in 2015 regarding the FedNAP payment system? Ripple, on the other hand, did not receive any credit for the system when it was released by the Federal Reserve. It is possible to discover hints by delving deeper. The Federal Reserve has discussed the possibility of forming a partnership with a blockchain company that has the potential to facilitate the ease and speed of payments, with transaction times ranging from 3 to 5 seconds. Gary Gensler has made numerous references to the possibility that the Federal Reserve of the United States of America could make use of Ripple. Gensler had faith in the Federal Reserve, which included XRP and Ripple in their payment system so that it could be used for transactions on both the domestic and international levels. Okay, let's talk about the most recent happenings. Riverbank has become a member of the FedNet transaction network. Ripplenet is the application that Riverbank, a well-known Ripple payment partner, uses to process transactions. Come with me as we dissect this. This is not merely a financial institution. This particular payment processor makes use of the XCurrent and XRapid systems that are available on Ripplenet. XRP and its ledger are utilized by both of these platforms in order to provide liquidity on demand. The fact that Riverbank is now a part of FedNet makes it abundantly clear that XRapid, XCurrent, and Ripplenet, all of which are founded on XRP, will all play a role in the future. To phrase it another way, the FedNet payment system is prepared to make use of XRP with the funds necessary to conduct business across international borders. As a consequence of this, we can anticipate that the value of XRP will increase as its applications and advantages continue to expand. This is news that is beneficial to your investment if you are a holder of XRP and you are watching this. The incorporation of XRP into conventional banking systems is more than just an indication of how important the cryptocurrency may become in the future. It demonstrates how the world of global finance is undergoing evolution. We are witnessing a paradigm shift as traditional banking systems come to the realization that blockchain technologies such as Ripples are not only quick and efficient, but also highly cost-effective. Further to this, 
In the aftermath of the event, the actions taken by financial institutions such as Riverbank and the support provided by Gary Gensler are just the tip of the iceberg. As a growing number of businesses become familiar with and implement XRP and other technologies of a similar nature, the entire financial sector will be influenced by these innovations. Prior to proceeding any further, I would like to share some very exciting news with my audience. I am giving away some XRP right now. Follow these three simple steps to become a part of the group. I would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, enable notifications, and share this video with your loved ones and friends. In the event that we choose our lucky winner, I will make certain that these steps are carried out. We wish everyone the best of luck. We will ensure that everyone is aware of the winner once we have reached 60,000 subscribers. Before we move on, let's return to the topic at hand the value of XRP and the growing significance of the protocol. It has been discussed that the Federal Reserve of the United States is interested in it, and that the majority of people in the United States want to use it. On the other hand, people in countries other than the United States are beginning to recognize the potential utility of XRP. There are certain nations such as the BRICS Group and even the European Union with its Digital Euro Project are conducting research to determine what it is capable of doing. In the videos that we have produced on these subjects, we go into greater detail about the ways in which XRP is being utilized in the Digital Euro Project in Europe and the CBDC in the BRICS nations. To restate our primary point, the United States of America is not only interested in XRP as a potential CBDC, which we discussed in a different video, they also want to use it to make international transactions more efficient. Not only is this true for CBDCs, but it is also true for all financial transactions, whether they take place domestically or internationally. First, let's take a look at what this means for the value of XRP in the future. As more people use XRP, particularly large financial institutions like the Federal Reserve in the United States, there will be developments in the value of the cryptocurrency. At the end of the day, the functionality of a cryptocurrency is a significant factor in determining its value. When large financial systems are incorporated with a digital asset such as XRP, the benefits that it brings to transactions are not the only thing that are immediately evident. Another aspect to consider is the trust and credibility that it establishes over time. The financial system of the world is undergoing rapid transformation. The use of digital transactions is becoming increasingly common, and people want to be able to send money across international borders in a quick and inexpensive manner. In this context, cryptocurrencies, particularly those that have been utilized in the past, such as XRP, play a very significant role. It is possible that the support of major economies and important financial institutions will be the spark that propels XRP into a category all by itself. At this moment, both investors and fans are in a very important position. The current trajectory of XRP, which includes all of its support and integrations, indicates that it will have a prosperous future. However, just like with any